DJ, just in your mind, what happened there down the stretch? Well, coming out, I think I think our our problems started uh, far sooner than down the stretch. Even though I know that, you know, when you look at the score and at one point it's tie or close, and then it gets away a little bit, you're going to look at that stretch. And I'd say, felt like today uh, our mental toughness wasn't very good. Uh, we were we've been a team that when we've had success and the successes we've had have been attributable to everybody pouring into the team and doing what they can for the team. Um, and so there was stretches our, our mental toughness wasn't very good uh, to start the second half uh, after a reasonably good first half defensively uh, we gave up you know basket after basket um, and I felt like we were always worried about what wasn't going our way offensively whether it was free throws shot attempts fouls uh, all things that we allowed to to get to us and prevent us from being the mentally tough team that we've come to be. So uh, I've, I've got to make sure I do a better job preparing our guys, and, and I will, uh, to, to do that. But that's, uh, that was out of character for us. Uh, Oklahoma State held you guys under 60 points both times. Brandon, what do they do that makes it so tough on you guys? Yeah, they've got length and athleticism everywhere um, on the court. So they're able to switch things. They're, they're able to be disruptive. They're probably the best shot blocking team in the league. So they've got. You know, they alter a lot of them, too, at the rim. Um, you know, they, they take a lot of pride in the way that they defend. And, and so they're going to disrupt things. And, um, you know, when we aren't as mentally tough, it plays into their hands. Our defense gets better as we, as we get tighter and, and we don't finish plays and foul shots and, um, and we get caught up in our own agenda. So, again, credit to them. They're, they're a terrific defensive club. But, um, you know, there's things we need to do to be a whole lot tougher to give ourselves a chance to win the game. When Caleb. Struggle to shoot it like they do tonight. How far down the list of adjustments do you have to go offensively to find something? Else? Yeah, I mean we've trusted those guys, and those guys have stepped up, you know, for us in a lot of games this year, and we're going to continue to put our trust in them. And so, part of it's them being problem solvers. Uh, part of it's you know our staff working together to try to give them great solutions. And um, you know, I think more than anything. Um, you know, our guys got to take pride in getting the stops. We've seen all year when we string together stops that offensively there's a pace, there's a flow, there's a rhythm. The game was very choppy offensively uh, because of that. So, look, I'm not, I'm not going to cast blame on anybody for, you know, not making a shot or something not going in. But where I, I do think, you know, we need to focus on getting the stops defensively so that we're playing with the pace and some confidence instead of taking the ball out of the net as much as we were there in that second half. Yeah, we were shaking. I mean, I don't think I think you know, I'll be honest. We were shaking far before he got his fifth, and um, and that's that's unfortunate. I think uh, we're putting, you know, we were putting today or tonight focus and emphasis on things that we can't control and worrying about things that are outside the realm of our control instead of holding, being self accountable, being problem solvers, and doing the things we do every day to 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 fix it. And so we we just got consumed with it and as a team uh, by and large. So, you know, I think uh, I, I think some of those things happened far before, you know, he picked up his fifth. Is that situational to today or is it coming off of, I think you guys you know, four or five now have lost. Is it come, come time? Today? Yeah, no, I thought it was situational today. I mean, even shoot the other night, we, we had opportunities late in the game to win at a really hard place to play on the road. Um, so, to me, it was it's a it, you know, and then last Saturday we were here and probably couldn't have played a whole lot better, right? So I, I think it's I don't think it's a, a cumulative effect. I do think in this league, uh, it's the best league in the country, and you've got to have mental toughness, you've got to have physical toughness, and you've got to understand that every single game you've got to get up and you've got to do those things and do it again. And uh, disappointing we didn't do it today, but a lot of credit to them. I mean, they're they're a really good defensive team, and and we let it get to us. TJ nine of nineteen. Throw line and including five at twelve in the second half. That's not going to cut it too many places against. What, is that fixable? I mean, well, I mean, we were yeah, and we were nine for twenty three. If you really think about it, because we missed four front end of the bonus. Yeah. So, I mean, from my vantage point, how we stat it on our end, we were nine to twenty three from the foul line. Um, yeah, it's not it's not good. Like it's not going to put yourself in in you know position to win, and especially and again, it got away from us. But in close games, 
you know, that's that's an important factor. I mean, they're, you know, it's we've got to be better. Is it correctable? It is. I mean, it's hard work and it's mental toughness, all things that we do on a daily basis. And, you know, we need to demand it from ourselves. So if we want to do a better job shooting foul shots, we need to, you know, continue to be in the gym working on it. And, um, and then, you know, make sure our focus is in the right place. Because I, th I felt like at times we went to the line and we weren't, we weren't mentally in the right place to make them. I mean, it's, I think that was evident. Yeah, just I think we we're consumed by other things. We we're consumed by, you know, officiating. We we're consumed by my shot not going in. We we're consumed by the game's not going the way I want. We we're consumed by we're not getting stops. You know, all those things and. Um, Man, it's disappointing. That's a that's a gut punch to me because we we really try to spend a lot of time focusing on that mental toughness and the togetherness, and um, I take that really personal. So we're going to get that right. Uh, Jazz is starting to look more comfortable, especially tonight. How important is he going to be to the success moving forward? Yeah, he's really important because he gives you, you know, it's like a fourth guard out there with his skill level, and that he gives you the length at six eight. And it felt like his rhythm was was good again today. It's certainly things that. He's still coming along with, but he looked a lot more, you know, in the form that he was early in the season today. And, um, you know, Jazz is a winning player. He does winning things. And uh, it was good to see him, you know, as probably one of the few positives we had is to see him kind of get back in that, in that routine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.